In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this particle music visualizer using geometry nodes in Blender. So let's get started. Alright, so first of all, let's delete the default cube. Press Shift A to add a plane, scale it up. Go to the geometry nodes. Let's close this window first. Click on new, delete the input node and press Shift A to add a grid node. Connect it to the geometry. And after the grid node, let's add a triangle node. After the triangle, add a dual mesh node. After the dual mesh, add a mesh to curve node and then a curve to mesh node. Let's increase the resolution of the grid to 20 by 20. Scale it up, that's one good. And now add a circle curve. Connect the curve to the profile curve. Reduce the radius to something like 0 0.01. 0 0.001. And now add a join geometry node. And then instances on points node. Connect the instance to the join geometry and add a icosphere node. Connect the mesh to the instance and the mesh to curve to the points. Reduce the radius to 0 0.005 and the subdivision to 4. And now to animate this plane, let's add a set position node so we can actually animate this. And now add a wave texture and then connect it to the offset. And now you can see that the wave node is affecting it in all directions but we actually want it to affect only in the Z axis. So for that, let's add a combined XYZ node and connect the color to the Z axis. Let's reduce the scale to 0 0.9. And then after the wave texture, add a color ramp so we can actually control the intensity of the texture. Move the black slider. Let's rotate this first. And change the white color to something like dark black. And if we and now if we move the phase offset, you can see there it we can animate it. So to animate it, let's add a scene time node. Connect the frames to the phase offset. And if you and if you hit play, you can see our animation here. It's actually a bit too fast, so to slow it down, let's add a math node first. And then change it to multiply. And multiply it by a value of 0.1. And now you can see that the speed is looking pretty good. Now in order now to make it now to make this grid actually look like a music visualizer, we need to change the distortion with the music, with the sound of the music. So let's first decrease the detail to zero and the detail size to twenty. Add a value node. Connect it to the distortion. Let's bring this window up. Change this window to the graph editor. And then on the value node, press I and go to the channel and then sound to samples. And now you can select any audio that you want to affect this grid. The intensity of the sound is actually quite low, so let's increase that by again adding a multiply node. Press Shift T to duplicate it and add it after the value node. Let's multiply it by something like 30. And now if you play the animation, you can see that the displacement is getting affected by the audio that you have used. Just a quick note there, if you can't hear your audio in the background, then you can go to the top menu bar and then click on the plus icon and then video scene. And here you can just drag your audio and then you can hear it in the background. Now for the camera angle, let's go to the camera, select the camera and change the focal length to maybe around 1000. Actually the scale of the lines is a bit too much so let's reduce the radius to maybe 0 0.003. No, it's too much. What? That's about right. And now reduce the scale of the atmosphere to 0 0.001. No, 0 0.003. Or maybe 2. Or 
Alright, that's looking good. Now select the camera and enable depth of field. And also make sure to enable it in the scene settings as well. Select the plane. First, let's make sure to change the resolution of the grid to something like 80 by 80. So we can get a lot of these particles in the scene. And now let's reduce the scale again. Now the grid is looking okay and now we actually need to fix the camera angle. Let's play around with the f-stop to get the right view. Forty-seven is looking okay. Now let's go to the render view and change the world color to black. Go to the geometry nodes and now let's add a material to these. After the join geometry, add a set material node and select the material. And in the material, let's enable the emission. And that's pretty much it for the animation part. You can play around with the camera settings and the other profile to get your desired results. But for the animation part, that's pretty much it. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more upcoming videos. And I hope I'll see you in the next one.